Hello, and welcome to Open Dental's webinar on cleaning up patient accounts after a final conversion. We will go through the different steps to make sure that production and income is allocated so that providers are paid correctly. The first thing that you will need to do is verify the procedures attached to appointments. Now, there are two ways you can go about this. Your first way is to review the attached procedures before the day of the appointment. Compare the appointments to your prior software and attach the appropriate procedures. The second way is on the day of the appointment, attach the completed procedures prior to checking the patient out. To see the procedures attached to an appointment, you can navigate to your appointment module, double click on the appointment, and at the top right in the procedures on this appointment area, the procedures that are highlighted in blue are the attached procedures. Now you'll want to go through and attach and detach procedures as necessary. Next, you will need to verify insurance benefits. The easiest way to do this is using the insurance verify list in the appointment module. So within the appointment module, I'm gonna come up to the top left and I'm going to click on lists. Then I'm going to the, come to the bottom and click on insurance verify. Within this list, I can double click a patient to see their insurance plan and double click into the benefit information grid at the bottom right to view their benefits. Once I've verified the patient's benefits, I can click OK, click on them in this list, and mark their insurance benefits verified, which then removes them from this list. Again, you can take one of two strategies when viewing this. You can verify benefits are complete and correct for all patients before they come in for their appointment. This may include using your prior software or obtaining a new benefit breakdown from the carrier. Or you can take a more focused strategy. This would involve verifying benefits for your high production value appointments and largest employer groups first, and as these are verified, it will trickle down to the hygiene appointments. Next, you might consider running the Check Insurance Plan Fee Schedule tool. This lives in Setup, Fee Schedules, and Go. With this tool, you can make sure that the appropriate fee schedules are attached to your insurance plans. At the top, you can type in a carrier to see all the insurance plans with that carrier. And on the right, you can see the fee schedule attached. From here, you can detach and attach fee schedules as necessary. Once you are done, making sure that all the appropriate fee schedules are attached to the insurance plans. Within the fee schedules window, you'll want to consider hiding any unused fee schedules. This would make it so that you do not accidentally attach any fee schedules where they are not, where they are not meant to be. Once all appointments you choose to verify for the day are completed, run the fee tools found in lists, procedure codes, and fee tools. Now the first fee tool is the update proc fees only. This is gonna update fees for all patients in case you have made any changes with the fee schedules. Next, you'll want to run the update estimates only. This will update all insurance estimates for the patients who have treatment plan work in case you have made any changes to their insurance plans or benefits. You can also update fees on a patient level by selecting the patient, navigating to their treatment plan, and selecting the update fees button up at the top left. The third thing that you will need to do is recreate outstanding insurance claims. Again, you have two options when choosing to recreate these. You can run your outstanding insurance claims report from your prior software and recreate all claims prior to posting insurance payments. Ideally, this would be done before seeing patients. Now, there are a couple of standard reports which may be helpful with this. The first is the outstanding insurance claims report. So we're going to go to reports, standard, and in the monthly section, we're gonna click on outstanding insurance claims. This report would be especially helpful if you have multiple people working on recreating claims at the same time and the outstanding report from your prior software is not being marked off to show what claims have been created. The second report that may be helpful is the Procedures Not Billed to Insurance report, which again lives in Reports, Standard, and then in the monthly section, Procedures Not Billed to Insurance. If received claims did not convert and instead came over as patient payments, this report could show you if an estimate got added to a procedure that has already been received. 
Your second option when recreating outstanding insurance claims is to create the claims just prior to the patient coming in or when posting insurance payments. This would require manual tracking to know what claims have been created or paid. To recreate an outstanding insurance claim, you will select your patient, navigate to their account module, highlight the procedures that are attached, and click the new claim button. If it's for a secondary insurance or tertiary or so on, you would hit the drop down and click on secondary. Up at the top left, we're gonna change the status to probably sent and then change the date to the date that the claim was actually sent. And then click OK at the bottom right. And now I have successfully created an outstanding primary insurance claim. Finally, correcting account balances may need to be done depending on your office's specific scenario. If your providers are paid on collections, it is going to be critical to ensure that not only the account balance, but the balance to specific providers is correct. This will often involve verifying which providers and related procedures are owed money in your prior software, and then creating manual income transfers and backdating them to the conversion date in Open Dental. To create a manual income transfer, I'm going to select a patient and navigate to their account module. Now, when I'm looking at this account module, I see that the patient has paid $264 to this $23.93 that was done by provider OS. In my prior software, I can see that this payment was actually for this procedure that was done here, and this procedure was never paid. So I'm going to create a manual income transfer to correct the balance owed to the provider. To do this, I'm gonna come up to the top left and I'm gonna click the payment button, and I'm going to enter a $0 payment. Because we are not adding or removing money from the account, we are simply moving it around. At the top in the payment type area, I'm going to select the None Income Transfer box. And then I'm going to add two splits using the Add Split button at the bottom left. The first will be a negative split through the amount that I'm removing from a procedure. And then I'm going to attach that procedure with the Attach button. and we're going to attach this procedure that was completed by provider OS. And then I'm going to add a second split for a positive amount for the amount that I'm moving to the procedure. We're going to attach that 2393 that was done by provider JH. Say okay, say okay. And I know that this has been done correctly because my total splits match my amount at the top. The last thing I'm going to do is backdate my payment date to the date of my conversion, which in this case did happen on 10-5-2023, and then click OK. Open Dental is warning me that I'm taking money away from a procedure that has an owed balance. I'm going to say that's OK. And now within the account module, I see my transfer where I have taken money from the 2393 done by provider OS and moved it to the, to the 2393 done by provider JH. If your providers are paid on production, this option is less critical to ensure that the specific balances are correct because you should not be running any reports in Open Dental for the date of the conversion and prior. If you choose to zero out your accounts receivable in your final conversion, this would prevent account discrepancy between Open Dental and your prior software. However, it would require that all outstanding AR is posted in your prior software and statements may need to be run from both Open Dental and your prior software. If you are worried about single patient accounts, the overall balance should be correct. You may need to verify that the correct providers are being paid if paying on collections using the manual income transfers I just showed you. If your concern is just that the overall balance is correct and you are not concerned about each patient or provider having the correct balance due, then there is nothing further for you to do. That's all for post-conversion account cleanup. Thanks for watching. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. If you have any additional questions, please contact our support line at 503-363-5432 or access our complete online manual at opendental.com. And make sure you're staying up to date on our latest trading videos by subscribing to our channel and turning on notifications.